Hey guys, welcome to game three between Arter Turtle and Kiko bottom right hand corner. We have Arter Turtle starting as the yellow Zerg bottom left hand corner. We have Kiko starting as the orange Terran. This is going to be on Metaverse. And it is game three of BSL season 14 Hasu League. Round of eight between these two players. Thus far, Kiko dominating. And I got to say, I don't like the... I feel like, I, I don't know if this is a new build order for Arter Turtle that he's kind of fielding. It doesn't feel like the, it feels like the delay in resources out of the Burrow Zerglings is really hurting Arter Turtle's ability to accelerate. It's just putting him a little bit behind and Kiko has really been capitalizing. And really Kiko's just shown smothering macro, really been able to out, just kind of wait out the turtle. I don't know another way to put it. It's like you go ahead and turtle up and get to your three bases and I will make sure that you really don't capitalize on it at all. This is Metaverse, a much, I want to call it more an entertaining map. You got that. I feel like there's more opportunities for Zerg to do interesting things because of the temples that can be splashed down by lurkers and things like that. I haven't seen a lot of Zerg opt to go lurker on this map. One problem for these spawn positions in particular is, is this is oftentimes the popular third expansion to take rather than expanding past the generator here. But this is this would be expanding into Kiko, which would be a dangerous prospect. Artificial going ahead with the 12th hatch. Barracks plop down, nothing too crazy. We'll see if Kiko gets first scout. It looks like, unfortunately, that's kind of the other thing is, is the scouting has been fantastic from Kiko thus far. He's currently moving his initial scout to the bottom right hand corner to get first scout. Confirming it, seeing that drone. You should pull that SCV back. You see that drone right there? You, you gotta know, unless it was like a really, really early. And also seeing this Overlord. Gotta be really, really early. Unless this is gonna be some form of shenanigan. <clears throat> yeah, now that SCV making its way back. Spawning pool being dropped. That's one thing from Art of Turtle is his... Yeah, he likes playing thin by just building the two Zerglings rather than dedicating even four. And that's allowed Kiko to really accelerate his build order, cut a lot of corners in my opinion. And knowing how strong a macro player he is, I feel like you gotta put him in the dark to force him to play a little bit more conservatively. And unfortunately, because Art of Turtle being scouted first, he's gonna just plop that command center without even producing a Marine upon seeing that 12th hatch, but already, what? Is this going to be an all-in Zergling play? Because we have an immediate 3 hatch. We'll see how this plays out. But also doing it straight in front of Kiko. We'll see if Kiko responds by going... So, a typical response to this was plus 1 5 racks, or even sometimes as crazy as like 7 racks, but the plus 1 weapons 5 racks push has been kind of a classic response to this. Initial two Zerglings being built. Tapping a little bit. One Zergling. Where are you just going to move out to the front? Are we going to see that Burrow upgrade again? No Burrow upgrade this time. I'm wondering if Kiko's just going to go for a flat Zergling flood off of this. Potentially not. We'll have to see once he has 100 resources if he stops mining. No, he is teching to Lair. So maybe three hatch... I do want to see three hatch lurker for a lot of the reasons I already mentioned. So potentially three hatch lurker here, which I actually think is a pretty good build on this map. Because you can take those generators down, you can open up that temple from behind. There are ramps to work with. To kind of punish marines moving out in the front, zergling. Hanging out towards that front door. Layer tech on the way, we'll have to see if that hydro stun gets dropped behind this. Only a single barracks, though, into Engineering Bay Academy this time. Which shocks me a little bit from Kiko, upon because he sees the in-base three-hatch. And when this isn't three-hatch mutalisk, it's oftentimes three... So he's playing this as though he's going up against the two-hatch style. But seeing the three hatcheries out there, oftentimes you just need more bulk and units. And instead, he's going kind of like an anti... plus one mutalisk build. And my concern is, is that it's just not going to play out. He's going to get punished for it. We'll see. Zerglings making their way out towards the front. A bunker is being produced. Some SCVs blockading along the way. 
Yeah, I don't know if I like this build order response. We'll, we'll see how it plays out. It looks like it is going to be three hatch Mutalisk for Arter Turtle. SCV still going to scout all of it. Bunkers in place. Firebat actually being grouped up alongside. This is potentially to negate what might have been all in Zergling. But it looks like it is just going to be straight up three hatch Muta. So Art Turtle going back to a very old school style. Four barracks now being tacked on. Range being upgraded. Stim's already there. Plus one weapon's about halfway finished. We'll see if Kiko gets sufficient troops to deal with the Mutalisks. And the fourth hatchery being grabbed in the upper right hand corner. So air control going to be very, very important for Arter Turtle. He needs to keep that ball small and make sure that it can't really get purchased if it tries to make its way out there, that it gets picked off rapidly. Initial Mutalisks in production. Natural expansion comps added to see, I think that was actually to see whether there was a sunken colony there or not. Second comps at, oops. Where did you do it? Did it at the main just to like look and see maybe how many eggs were morphing there. Turrets being built. Now the question is, is okay, with these four barracks being tacked on, is this a sufficient enough force to deal with the mutalisks that our turtle is going to start fielding. So we got seven mutalisks already, eighth on the way. This is going to be nine mutalisks out in the field shortly. No weapons upgrade. Hydelsten being grabbed behind this. But eight and nine going to be there shortly. And this is this is all of the trooping of Kiko hoping to engage the mutalisks wholesale. Eight mutalisks can push through turrets really rapidly. Nice ball there from Kiko. Pressing up, one mule has already been taken out. Seven mules still there. The other one getting caught as it's joining. And I actually feel like this might have been decent, but Arter Turtle, with the reinforcements of mules, losing mules for free. And honestly, I don't know if it was turn right or what, but kind of flubbing the micro there altogether. He had the troops there, but lost an immense amount of mutalisks for basically nothing. Transferring drones just on the ground to the fourth. I don't know if he's going to end up paying for it or not, though. But Kiko, now with the four bear, uh, the four racks behind this, can start just kicking up the production. More turrets being planted, plus one armor on the way. Kiko, honestly, at this stage, might be able to just... Yeah, you can see the emergency creep colonies being dropped from Arta Turtle. He's going to need them. I don't know that he can... Do defend this base in the upper right hand corner. Maybe he's just going to hope that Kiko doesn't scout it. Second comp set, though, from Kiko spots it. And now he's making his way with those medic marines to the upper right hand corner. Some lurkers are there. Or sorry, some hydrolisks are there to morph to lurkers, but lurker tech is not quite there, so now it's a foot race. Marines making their way across the field. Four hydrolisks in position. Looks like there's going to be seven mutalisks trying to trail this. Might be able to catch some Medic Marines out of position. It looks like they are going to get a bit of a batch right there. Trying to buy some time. One mule gets wiped out. But that looks like it did buy the time needed. Lurker Tech's finished. Unfortunately, yeah, they are going to be able to morph. More mules getting picked off. Overlord taking some damage. Let's see if they can just walk up. They might be able to pick off this Lurker Egg regardless. Mule holding on the high ground. Flurry of fire on that lurker egg. Let's see if it... Hopefully they can burrow rapidly enough. Two finishing in the background, taking a lot of damage. The forward lurker takes some damage. They are going to burrow. That's going to force Kiko back. So the expansion is saved. Three gas have been established. And behind this, Art Turtle has managed to get a surging worker count. Fifth hatchery planting. Hive tech on the way. Now all of a sudden, Kiko has to be scratching his head. He does have the double starport in production behind this. But Arter Turtle establishing three gas, all sorts of hatcheries, and he's got a solid worker count to back it up. So despite kind of the flub of the Mutalisks earlier, he's now in a strong position in the mid game. 
see if Kiko grabs expansions behind this. And Kiko just shelling up. Now, no ki so it doesn't look like we see an evolution chamber to go in a quote-unquote crazy Zerg style. Some medic marines meandering out towards the front, but plenty of lurkers and something colonies to deal with this. Kiko losing control of troops, trying to stem forward. And it looks like with that stim is going to be able to chew through a lot of these lurkers and Arda Turtle overstepping his bounds, not holding the high ground, opening up this hatchery to be attacked. Scourge getting wiped out. Drones getting wiped out. Mulisks aren't in position, so it's just going to be two Hydralisks morphing. And honestly, I don't know that they're going to be in time to save this hatchery. And actually dying before they're even able to spawn. So Arda Turtle getting overly aggressive. Streams of Zerglings trying to move up. Scourge getting wiped out. Mulus arriving, but none of it in time to save the third expansion. So all of a sudden, in a swing of fortune, Kiko holding the high ground over the third. Some nice micro to punch through the four lurkers on the low ground. Needs to be still careful micro against this. Just hold that advantage. He's got five medics stranded up here. A stream of Zerglings making their way towards the front. There are Marines and medics to deal with this. This Let's see if this triggers an all-in. Drones actually pulling off the line, trying to be a distraction. Open things up, allow those lurkers to burrow. Kiko doing a good job just microing away from it, though. And so now Arter Turtle, where he was in a good worker count previously, I do like the Zerg when we just kind of hang out towards that third to box that out. Kiko making his way down, so additional delays. That Overlord going to get wiped out, though. Not that it matters, because <clears throat> kind of like an over grouping of Overlords there. The Zerglings engaging these Marines and these Medics here getting wiped out. And Kiko moves up with... Let's see if he moves up with a secondary attack force. Really going to deny... Yeah, Kiko with kind of a, a plug now. Really going to deny a lot to Arter Turtle. So yeah, he has Hive Tech, but he's only got two gas to work with. He has a Defiler Mount. Actually going for Plague here. But Kiko even sitting on two bases. Two base versus two base. Shortly grabbing his third is in a really brutally strong position. Near double the supply count. Ahead in Tech. Looks like he's moving up some science vessels to go ahead and well it might need a scourge along the way but might get something else out of this Let's see if he redirects it all but right now everything in kiko's favor gonna be able to get that third base easily looks like some lurkers opening up that Zelnaga temple to potentially grab the third here radiates being dropped in the lurkers so they're not long for life that scourge might be able to get a hit on these science vessels but i don't think it's going to get the science vessels otherwise so now Arter Turtle in a scramble just to establish a third base. And Kiko is rolling. Seven racks coming online, double starport. Upgrades are looking good. Level two weapons, level two armor, work, making his way towards level three. Has that third base coming online shortly. I think the science vessel is going to see that Zelnaga tower coming up and all sorts of science vessels on the front just going to drop bulks of irradiate. Looks like those medic marines moving forward, clearing out the drones that were there. Desperation attacks of Zerglings now out in the front. There is Swarm here, at least. Potentially to move these Medic Marines back. But even being pushed back momentarily, that's... Yeah, you push them off your front, but that's just keeping you alive. That is not getting you further ahead in this match. I also like the troops just kind of patrolling around these additional areas to make sure sneaky bases haven't been grabbed. A drone now peeling out with these lurkers to move up to that 3 o'clock location and grab a third base. But Kiko adding on fire bats, adding on everything else. Does need to keep with that science vessel count. Needs to keep that up. But currently, he's already got five science vessels on the front where he can just keep dropping irradiates, keep pecking away at Arter Turtle. Just making sure that, yeah, no additional expansions have been grabbed. Is he going to go for another expansion here? Might try to take down that power generator and grab that expansion himself. Moving up with more attack forces. So right now, Arter Turtle... Whoop, nice little pushback with these lurkers. I don't know that Arter Turtle has enough to defend what he's got. 
a lot of Zerglings here. But still no Carapace upgrade. Still no plus one. I don't... There's an Evolution Chamber, so it looks like Carapace 1 is just going to finish, but that's not before level 3... Well, maybe not before level 3 weapons comes online. Let's see if I can find... There's level 1 armor. Where's the second Engineering Bay? Can't find the second Engineering Bay. We know it's out there. A bunch of Irradiates being dropped. Urge making their way across. Able to take out at least a Science Vessel. Rushing forward. Bloody fist fight on the front. Firebats jumping on top of the lurkers, also ending up a little bit too close to that sunken colony. They're getting wiped out. But there's still another troop grouping to the south. These medics. Kiko having a little bit of trouble controlling his troops. Looks like Arter Turtle is making his way to grab that third base. The Ooh, Zelnaga Temple actually being opened up. So after all of the early game with the Mutalist, it looks like it is going to be pure lurker. Doing this from here. Kiko overextending now, trying to push up against. D does manage to take that lurker up, but loses a science vessel and honestly a lot more troops. But Arter Turtle donating some Zord links to these fire bats. More troops swarming in to threaten the natural expansion. So one thing, one advantage for Arter. Arter Turtle is just that Kiko's been throwing some troops away through... Looks like we are going to see potentially an Eraser Trick. Irradiated Science Vessel walking in. Two radiated. Never mind, the Defiler's irradiated. Going to go ahead and walk in and try to cut into some drones right there. Medic Marines being pushed back by those Lurkers to the north. But three bases are already up. A fourth base potentially coming online. Kiko at 153 supply. Level 3 weapons, level 3 armor is there, which means these medic marines hit very, very hard. And those fire bats, yeah, just chewing through those zerglings like candy. 9 o'clock base, going to be there, and we already have some battle cruisers floating out as well. Are we going to see more battle cruisers? Some dropships now. Not sure the dropships even be necessary. Scourge dying on their way up. So Kiko. With threatening armies on all fronts, is just kind of inverting. He's like, okay, Arter Turtle, you go ahead and turtle up. I'm just going to grab four bases and out macro you. And you're not going to be able to keep up with my economy. So, kind of inverting the meta. Which I like. Kind of wondering why Terran don't do that more often, to be honest. Huge swarm of Scourge to the north getting irradiated. A few of them getting picked off here and there. More Lurkers trying to group up. It looks like a, a drone is going to be able to move up and plop down a hatchery. See how long it lasts. Science vessels are radiating the Scourge. Dropships loaded with troops waiting to go ahead and jump on that natural expansion. I thought I heard the battle cruisers attacking someplace. Looks like there. Yeah, an Arter Turtle upon seeing that, upon seeing, didn't even need to worry about the dropships, just realized he was too far economically behind. Calling GG right there. Arter Turtle eliminated from BSL this season. Kiko going to advance to the round of four. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.